So uh, I'll talk about Kubernetes SaaS, which is a new service that we've launched recently. We'll have a sandbox on it, and those who are interested can play with it on the other client or server side. First, I will just briefly present it. So, um, software as a service, basically it means GitHub in the cloud. So if you need it, you, if you need a XMPP server, we take care of everything, at most. We we'll provide the hardware. So actually, we are running on the Amazon, the software, so it's a and with and the platform management. I'm talking about it, but we uh, we have done all the all the running of the service. And as it's it's a job, uh, you can scale for whatever you want. So for first you learn to millions, depending on what you want, and with the adequate pricing. So. Uh, I'll talk about the pricing uh, uh, a little bit uh, later. And uh, it's based on EJB Business Edition. So uh, I don't know if you are aware, but we have two main branches for EJB. We have the open source version, and we have the Business Edition, which is a commercial offer that we sell to the, to the customer. And uh, the EW SaaS is based, of course, on the business edition, so I'll talk a little bit also about that. What are the difference between the open source and the business edition? But here you have the benefit of the business edition in this offer. Uh, there is no commitment, only uh, monthly engagement. So uh, I'll talk about the pricing uh, detail that later. And you have uh, flexible API and the basis. Um, so uh, you can keep the data on the cloud, you can have data on your own, uh, depending on what you want to do. I'll detail that and we'll play with that. Uh, for those who are interested in the sandbox, uh, we have some uh, test API and we can do some stuff uh, with that. Uh, we have some rates uh, demo, so if you are doing some uh, rates development with the sandbox, uh, we, can, uh, we can play with that. Uh, we are providing a staging uh, platform, so you have a production and staging as a virtualist on the same platform to do your uh, test development and stuff like that. And we are uh, providing the quality on that, which means that you have 24-7 emergency <coughs> support uh, with one or more response and four uh, uh, solution problem, problem solution. So, uh, we are running the Germany Business Edition. So compared to the open source version, uh, we've uh, improved uh, some stuff on, 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 the, on the code, specifically on this uh, on this version. So uh, we have uh, improved the scalability, which means that on that node you can run more and more users. We provide archive for messages. Uh, we have worked on the apps publish and subscribe some module to make it more efficient. Uh, we have a uh, push for mobiles for uh, iOS and Android, which means that uh, you can automatically on your mobile device receive some push when you are offline. Uh, we have the specific mobile utilization to save the battery, for instance, to recover from bad networking. Uh, we have uh, specific protocols for uh, Client running in a browser, so it means web WebSocket. We'll have some uh, demo about the WebSocket later, and we have the Google Porsche uh, protocol. We provide specific statistics uh, using a new module that you can uh, run to together what your server is doing in details. And of course, because it is cloud, you will have all the future operations that we are going to put in Java. Uh, in the future, uh, that because we will upgrade all the running instances with the new EJB business edition card uh, when it's available. So, of course, because it's uh, running in the cloud, the base code is the same with, uh, everywhere, so it means that you cannot have any customization. You cannot ask, of course, for any uh, specific custom module for a specific need, which means that you have to stick with, uh, with the protocol, with uh, the XAMP and the, and the startups, which is usually anyway a good thing. 
<coughs> so about the pricing, there is no commitment except uh, monthly engagement. So it's month by month, they can stop wherever I want. We think that uh, in three phases. Uh, if you are running a new service, you'll be in the uh, emerging phase, which means you start from the first user and you will grow. Uh, if you have already uh, a running service that you want to migrate to Java SaaS, you may start directly in the growing or maybe established network. So uh, basically, uh, uh, we have 15 stages. And you can uh, just pay for how you are using the service. So it will start uh, in the three first stages uh, in the imaging network. So usually uh, you grow your network from one to three years. Uh, growing network usually from more expense. It, it, it lasts from again one to two years, and then you can have an uh, established network when you have all your base games, your, your user base, which hopefully is the last stage of your project. So, how we decide which stage you have, you are. Um, so, uh, we are <coughs> monitoring the usage of the, of the platform. And you uh, basically each uh, XMPP action that you perform, it can be a notification, it can be sending a packet, it can be subscribing to a pub server, storing a message in the archive, and so on, are uh, accounted in the platform. And depending on the usage that you will, that you will have, we'll decide. We will we, uh, we see in which stage you are. And at some point, if your usage is increasing on the platform, we will propose you to uh, go up one stage in the next month. So basically, uh, you will pay exactly for how you are using the platform month to month. So we will see to what you are doing, which service you are running, how many users you will have, and so on. So, uh, about how you can uh, integrate with your uh, existing uh, data, user base, and so on. Either it's a new service, which means that you may want to store all your data, all your user space, and so on, on the cloud, on the Java SaaS. Or you may have uh, an existing user base, or you may integrate an existing service to Java SaaS. So if you are in the this is later case, you can integrate Java SaaS into your own IT infrastructure, which means that you can reuse your user base. If you have some contact list already on another on on service, you want to migrate it, you can reuse it. You, you can store all the messages on your servers if you don't want to store, uh, store it on your business. You can do whatever you want. If you store it on your business, you store it. Or you can reuse your data and your base on your own. So to do that, we are providing uh, some uh, API on both sides. Uh, we provide API, and you will have to set up on your own uh, some API on your backend. So you can decide to do it for user base, rosters, which are contact lists, and uh, message archives. So you can decide to have user base on your own and to store rosters on archive on, uh, on all service or whatever. It is independent. The, the three steps are independent. So uh, I'll detail uh, a little bit how you can do it if you want to integrate uh, SaaS with your servers. So it's quite basic, just uh, HTTPS uh, REST API with a JSON uh, format. Uh, you just have to, to, to allow to apply uh, 
connections. And we are using a pool of uh, 50 uh, connections in parallel for uh, performance reasons. So basically, there is nothing, uh, nothing unusual here. For the security, we just use the source IP address, the white list of IP addresses that you have to allow on your backend. So I uh, detailed a little bit the API that you have to implement uh, if you want to, uh, to integrate SAS in your <coughs> with your, uh, with your backend. And then, for those who are interested, you can play with it with those API see how we can develop it and, uh, and run it uh, using, we have some demo visualization on Node.js, for instance. So if you want to uh, use uh, your own user bytes, you have to implement uh, two API, which is uh, authentication, username and password, and replace in the reply yes or no, uh, the authentication is okay or not, with uh, just HTTP code. So it's really uh, basic. And another uh, API, which is, uh, is the user exist or not, you can use the name and you replace it in your reply, yes, no. Uh, you have the, if you want to integrate rosters on that list with SAS, uh, you have to provide a way to retrieve the roster for, for a given user. So you just reply in JSON a list of uh, contacts. And for the uh, archive, uh, if you want to store all the messages in your backend, you have to provide uh, three API, one to store, so each time a user will post a message, uh, EW will call this API to store the message in your backend with the username, uh, peer, which is the contact. <coughs> So we can store either the one standard XML if you have some uh, specific uh, custom tags into the XML, or we can just store the, the body, which is uh, the text of the message, which is like as and storing all the standard to, to keep it uh, to keep it live. We need also, of course, a way to uh, search into uh, the message archive if you want your client to be able to retrieve the entry. So uh, you, you have to implement the second get API with your name peer, uh, use timestamp to, to filter the, the results and <coughs> read which is the number in the batch so you can retrieve uh, from uh, your backend using batch of let's say 10 messages, 10 messages for instance and count, which is the same that get that will return just the number of messages that uh, match the criteria that is uh, used to, to query the, um, the backend. And so this is API that you can really record on your backend. And uh, we also need to have an API on your SAS that you may want to call to update the roster. So this one is, is not monetary. But uh, if you have a user which is already connected, which is online, and the, this roster, this contact list, is updated while it is online, then you have to push the modification for the contact list for, the, for that user on our server so the client of that user can be updated in real time. So it's not monetary, but if you want that this modification is made in real time, <coughs> you will have to call this API on our server to update it. So basically, you call it with uh, the user and the list of added and deleted user in the, in the contact list. So basically, with just a few API, you can integrate uh, each of these SAS into your own backend and use <coughs> your, uh, all your data and all your infrastructure. So uh, we have a bunch of uh, running SaaS instances with if anyone is interested. So we can bring in some box, just connect and send the client and see how it's working. Or we can even play with the API and get some uh, Rails and GS uh, 
API and then we can see how we can run it on your own backend to integrate with your developers. We use SaaS and we integrate it with, uh, with your backend. Thank you.